so now I've been explaining the PC that is to be placed on the storage room. Okay, let's say the PC. Okay, so you can see the initiator and start button. This is for the initiator. Once the initiator uh, logs into the system, you can see the steps that I mentioned earlier in my presentation where they can enroll or delete stuff. Uh, new medical supplies that they want to put into and they need the medical stuff that they, the medical stuff that they do not want to use. Right? Uh, this application is to see the condition status. This is to start stop the application of the major. As you can see, the LED. If I stop stop the LED, the 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 LED will be going so here. The then if I on back, the LED will be there. Okay, so as we know the storage room there will be a lot of medical products so we just key in the product number. As we come out the the staff particular that has taken the product, the product ID, product quantity that they took, the date that they took and the time that they take. So this is the user that logged into the system system, as you can see by the key in the date. So let's say for today. You can see the, all the particulars that have logged into the system. Right. And this transaction happened at the cabinet. Since the cabinet now can install the eight product, they can see all the quantity, all the transaction at the same time for every product. You can see the retrieve item. Uh, the reason why I put the product ID, not the product name, because if they want to change the product on the on the cabinet, they will just need to delete the product and key in the same ID with a different product. Change the date. Yes, change the date. Yesterday. We keep using this uh, this ID to log in. Okay, so for the staff, we also, we also need to log in. And we have just to retrieve. So to retrieve, let's say, uh, retrieve number one, the first product, and I receive a quantity which is 95. So it's okay. we will, now you will update and send the send an email notification to stock up. Once the product left is five or below, you will, you will send a notification to stock up at the storage room, the product ID and the stock up quantity. Then for stocking up, for stocking up process is that we using the barcode to scan the product. Once we get the product ID and the stock up quantity, we press enter and we split the stock up quantity, and we press back into the press back into the update the database. As you can see, the quantity now will be updated back to 100. Okay, so now if I enroll a user. If I enroll a user, it will send the ID to the to the manual and they can the user is a four-digit number. Besides a four-digit number. Besides the number. Okay, so the user will get a message that you assigned to what it is. Okay, when I press enter, it will successful and now we proceed to the okay. Before we open our next one, the auto the inside the acre box. So if we're running on my my room, it's a standalone application. So LED zero will indicate that there's connection between the EPC and the and the radio. And this LED chip will show that the PC already start the process, the serial code between the radio and the TFT. So inside this acrylic box, there's also the circuit whereby you can uh, choose whether, as I've mentioned in the presentation, you can choose whether you want to use a direct supply or a power bank. So in case of any power failure or there's high volume of patients, you can just switch it anytime. Yeah, so if you want to do any maintenance at this uh, acrylic box, you need to change something inside. As it's a bit high, you can just unplug the plug and just bring it down. Okay, so this is the quantity of products inside the uh, inside the cabinet. So let's say, what's your ID name? Okay. Yeah, then we go to stock up. So let's say now currently, because for now we have, we only put ten items for each product. So because since there's two items, so I'm just putting two first. Then your two will be displayed. That means you need to confirm that everything that you press at the previous page is shown here before you press confirm. Then the door will unlock. 
So for the door, so once the door is unlocked, then you put it inside. So for the door, if you were to open the door for more than 10 seconds, right, the uh, the buzzer will sound. Yeah, then you need to, because once the buzzer is uh, open, right, you cannot even access the system. Yeah, this thing is just jammed. So you need to close the door, then the buzzer will, you know, then you see, we will update the quantity with 10 items inside the pack. Now you can try to retrieve, I use my ID. So for retrieve, Let's say if I were to retrieve more than the number of items that I can write, so let's say I press 20, then let me have press 20. So 20, 20, 20, 20, then we will promote to the previous page and we will show invalid entry. That means you need to rekey in the values that on the te uh, text box that is blinking. So first of all, you need to acknowledge it, then you can key it. Let's say I would like to clear the cabinet. No, I will clear too. Stay tuned. Okay, confirm. Then I will unlock the cabinet. And yeah, because if you want to press login button, when the cabinet is on, it will blink. It won't let you go on to the next person if the, cab if the cabinet door is not closed. Yeah, then yeah, this cabinet can move around feeling the rewards. So, yeah. so, uh, so let's the item is less or five. They will also receive a demand notification that I presented oh. earlier. But the location of the two store cup is different. So let's say you have to delete his ID. Yeah. And you can try to delete ID then after you won't be able to uh, log in to this eight eight eight. So log in. Eight 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 eight. You can you can log in anymore. Transaction from here, right? Mm -hmm. If it, when you stock up on it, it will send the product ID of the stuff that access the system, mm -hmm. the stock up on retrieve status, mm -hmm. and all the product quantity and the product ID that was pressed here. Then, okay, then, so just now I retrieve something, right? Then you can see it from the database there. I, I mean, the where you store the database? Database in his. Because I will send. Right? Yeah, in in the computer. Computer. So the Mario is just received all those information. Receive and sending. Okay, shall we go back to the other side? Okay, here. Sí, 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 sí,